This video is an introduction to the 2023 Science Buddies Engineering Challenge. The goal of this year's challenge is to build a device that can pick up a ping pong ball from a distance and bring it back over a starting line. The farther away the ball is, and the fewer materials you use, the higher your score. There are many different ways you can tackle this challenge, and this video shows just a few examples. Be creative and try out your own ideas. It's okay if they don't work on the first try. Iteration is an important part of the engineering design process. Only certain materials are allowed if you want to enter the contest for a chance to win a cash prize for your school or nonprofit organization. You can use the following. Up to 30 sheets of printer, graph, notebook, or construction paper. Cardstock and newspaper are not allowed. Up to 10 paper clips, up to 50 millimeters or two inches in length up to 10 meters of string, any type up to three millimeters in diameter, and up to one roll of clear office tape, masking tape, or painter's tape with a maximum width of 2.5 centimeters or one inch. Duct tape and packing tape are not allowed. You must test your device with a ping pong ball, also called a table tennis ball. Don't worry if you can't remember all of that now. See the link to the written instructions in the video description, which contains a complete list of the allowed materials. Here are the rules you need to follow in order to enter the contest. The ball and starting line must both be placed on the floor. To prevent the ball from rolling around and to give you a consistent starting location to measure, you can place a small square of tape on the floor around the ball, but you cannot tape the ball to the floor. The starting line can be a piece of tape or an object like a pencil. The ball cannot be modified in any way or have anything taped to it. The ball must start a minimum of 10 centimeters from the starting line. After that, you can increase the distance for subsequent trials as you try for higher and higher scores. Your device must be portable. It cannot be taped to the ground or another object like a piece of furniture. Only one person can operate the device at a time. No part of your body can cross the start line after the trial has started. It's okay for your device to touch the ground before picking up the ball, for example, while scooping or grabbing it. After you have picked up the ball, no part of the device or the ball can touch the ground or any other surface in front of the start line. If they do, you have to start over. Once you've picked up the ball, it must remain in contact with your device and cannot become airborne while it is still in front of the start line. No throwing the ball. You must then bring the ball back behind the start line and place it on the floor. You cannot touch the ball at any point once the trial has started, even after you have brought it back behind the start line. And finally, nothing can remain stuck or attached to the ball after it has been deposited behind the start line. Again, don't worry if you can't remember all the rules now, the complete list of rules is linked in the video description. You can try this challenge yourself or in a team of up to four students. The challenge can be done at school, at home, or anywhere else, but either way, the kids are in charge. Adults can help with things like obtaining materials, but all the device design, building, and testing should be done by the kids. Your final score equals the distance from the start line to the closest side of the ball in centimeters, minus the cost of all the materials used to build your final device. The longer the distance, and the lower the material cost, the higher your score. Tape is free, but each sheet of paper costs five points, each paper clip costs one point, and every 50 centimeters of string costs one point. You must round up to the nearest whole unit for each material. For example, if you use one and a half sheets of paper, you would round that up to two sheets. If you use 75 centimeters of string, you would round that up to 100 centimeters. You can improve your device and retest as many times as you'd like to get a higher score, but you can only submit one score per team. Only materials used in the device you're currently testing count toward your material cost. You don't have to include materials from earlier designs. Again, you can find written instructions for how to calculate your score linked in the description of this video. We'd love to see your designs in action. Feel free to take a video of your device, post it, and tag Science Buddies on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, 
or YouTube. Just remember that social media posts don't count as official contest entries. To enter the cash prize drawing for your school or organization, you need to submit your entry on the Science Buddies website. For complete rules and entry information, see the link in the video description. Good luck, and we look forward to your entries in the 2023 Science Buddies Engineering Challenge.